<laughs> Good, if I get it off a of mute. Hey everybody, good afternoon and welcome to Rewind, the show we look back at the games industry's past as we build the game industry's future. My name is Chris Melisinos and I'm the principal evangelist for video games here at AWS and your host of Rewind, coming to you every Friday for at 3 p.m. Eastern. Now make sure you hit that like, follow, and subscribe buttons on Twitch and YouTube so you know when we go live and it really helps the channel out. Now on this episode of Rewind, with the inescapable, you know, incredible amount of Barbie everywhere, and I've got my pink shirt on today, for this episode, I thought that I would go back and explore some of the Barbie games that my kids grew up playing in the 1990s and early 2000s. And it took a lot to go ahead and put this together because finding a VM that could run this stuff, finding the right OS, finding uh, the games and getting everything to work, took a little bit of time. Uh, it was a little bit of a challenge and also just a wonderful reminder of just how far we've come in terms of interoperability and um, operability of operating systems and devices and all that sort of crazy stuff. So let's go ahead and jump on over and check out Barbie games from the late 1990s and early 2000s. All right, so as I said, um, I went ahead and put together a, a good, um, thanks a lot there, uh, Sam Notowitz. Good to see you there on the chat. Thanks for stopping by. Um, all right, so to go ahead and get ready for this episode, like I said, I went ahead and um, got Windows XP up and running in a virtual machine and made sure I had all the right legacy type drivers um, and all that sort of stuff uh, set up so we could go ahead and play through these Barbie games. Then I needed to go ahead and not only source the CD-ROMs from my, you know, collection of, of, of game memorabilia that we've saved as a family over the years, but then also create images for them so they would run a bit better inside of the VM and all that kind of crazy stuff. So I hope you enjoy kind of this walkthrough of Barbie games from the past, um, you know, as Barbie once again is kind of bubbled up to the top of the surface and everybody is talking about it. Which, by the way, my wife and I actually went and saw the movie and thought it was fantastic. They did a wonderful job um, with, with the movie. We had a lot of fun um, seeing it and it was a packed theater. And the great thing too is that it wasn't just, you know, um, young girls or full families. It was just everybody together enjoying the story that they laid out there and kind of uh, exploring such an iconic character and iconic set of properties and you know barbie really embodies um the possibility of what you can become right and so it's just really really wonderful so again i thought that we'd go back and take a look at some of the games that my kids grew up playing um when they were little and uh yes yeah, so we're gonna go ahead and jump right in so let me go ahead and kill this music here and let's go ahead and fire up this virtual machine. If you have any memories about some of these games or games like this in that era, go ahead and pop them into the chat. I'm monitoring chat both on YouTube and Twitch. And let me go ahead and... Uh... Yep. Hey, John, good to see you there, buddy. Thanks for, for showing up. And uh, we'll just pop a little yo into the chat and I'll do the same down here. Yo. Oh, I'm having a couple of extra lines that on there so all right so let's go ahead and uh so what i'm gonna do is start with let's see what cd now for this episode i'm gonna have to be going into settings switching out images switching out discs like doing all this kind of crazy stuff so it's not just jumping from one game to the next right it's actually working across um all of these different uh these uh different images that i need to go ahead and pull up so Let's go ahead and get started first. Why don't we start with one that actually surprised me a little bit, and it was Barbie Explorer. So let me go ahead and load up that image for us there. And here we go. Let me know if the if you can hear the audio there. Could you hear the audio of the game as it was kicking up? Somebody go ahead and fire up in the chat. Let me know if you can hear the audio of the game as well as my John, Sam, yes. All right, good, good, we can hear it, okay. So this one surprised me a little bit going back and playing it. I mean, of course we do have, oh, and look at all these old logos, right? Um, John, you know, I know you've been around 
uh, the industry for quite some time. So some of these logos are going to look uh, pretty familiar to you and, uh, you know, bring back some memories of the earlier days in the games industry. And here we go, right? Setting in that Indiana Jones, Tomb Raider type uh, of space kind of sets the mood for what this game is going to be. Up, oh, of course, got to get in a mine cart there. Let's see if she leans. Oh, nope, she just hopped over it. Exactly, just like, you know, just like Indiana Jones would have done. Swinging on some vines, hitting some rafts. Ooh! Then what happened, Professor? Well, unfortunately, I was only able to find one piece of the Mystic Mirror. Oh, just the one other piece pieces of have yet to be found. This so here we go. We're setting Barbie in that Tomb Raider Here's adventure uh, sort of setting Behind that we've grown up mirror, with and, and are familiar with. Ancient treasure map to the secret locations of the missing pieces. I've been awaiting an explorer who's up to the challenge. Maybe Barbie's up to the challenge, of course, with you and Barbie up for that challenge. Around the mirror, they will unlock its mysterious power. And there she is in her adventure garb. Oh, this could be the greatest treasure of the modern world. Pass. You can count on me, Professor. As Excellent. Today, I'm reporting as Barbie, world class explorer. All righty, Barbie, world class explorer. Hell yes, here we go. All right. Welcome to Barbie. So let's go ahead and choose a one-player game here, and we'll go ahead and just pop in our. Uh, here we go. How about we'll just do a little bit of rewind. We'll just do R E W. Don't need to spell out all of them. All right, so here we go. Now it's time to choose medium. We'll keep it on the medium level. I'm not sure what the difference is between them after trying a couple different levels here in a couple of different um, skills, right, or or different uh, difficulty levels. But uh, you'll soon see how problematic this game could be. And if little kids could go ahead and get through this game, uh, you know, without throwing their hands up in frustration, right? They were uh, tougher than I. All right, so where the artifact is supposed to be, we get to the lost city. Here we go in the African jungle, and we're going into the deepest rainforest. And here we go. So this kind of setting will look familiar, right? It's behind, over the shoulder, kind of Crash Bandicoot style uh, space. But, all right, I need to go ahead and make my screen a little larger here. And then, all right, let's see, which one is that? That is the roll. This is the jump. Barbie has very long legs. It sometimes makes it a little difficult to uh, gauge where she's going to land. But now we have to pick up all these diamonds and make our way down here. So it's a little, again, Crash Bandicoot over the shoulder. Yes, thank you. Good luck indeed. And let's roll under there. Okay. Now here's where these floating... Okay, somehow I fell off the edge there. Um, here we go. And... Oh, okay, made it through that. Um, I typically die at least... Well, I did. I, I, I fell through at least once there. Okay, let's go ahead and get some health back there as we run. Oops, wrong button. Let's go ahead and get her to roll. Of course, you know, if you press the wrong button, it still just went ahead and continued moving you forward, right? Because it was made for, you know, for younger kids that wanted to play through this crash Barbie good. <laughs> thank you, thank you. Yeah, that one was good. That was good. Crash Barbie Coop for sure, for sure. And yeah, and I'm, yeah, hey, hey, it's my buddy Kevin James. Everybody give a super shout out to Kevin James FZ Kilo, who decided to join the stream this afternoon. Say hi to John Goodell. He's here as well. And also, Sam, thanks very much for joining today and for being a first time, uh, first time chatter here. So we appreciate you. All right, here we go. Let's get out of the way of those elephants. Oh, my goodness gracious. And we're hopping, and we're gonna see. We're we gonna bounce on this like a Crash Bandicoot crate. Now I'm just gonna take my feet and move through them, uh, but it's not gonna let me do anything other than stand on that crate. Here we go. Ah, uh, uh. here we go. And nope, I don't want to do that. I want to roll. Let's see if we can't get there. Now the cool. Oh, oh. Now the good thing about this is, um, uh, it has branching paths too. So they'll lead you to other treasures or different areas of the map to explore. Um, I don't 
know if I'm gonna be able to make it. Oh, okay, and let's not roll through it. Let's jump over that. All right, and then roll through that. Go grab that treasure box. Grab that heart. Okay, we got full health again, and now we're back underneath. So, you know, not uh, not the most competent game, but a pretty good adventure game for that era. Okay, let's see, and I'm going to miss that again, and let's see, here we go. Can we do that? Yes! All right, there we go. Hooray! Oh, moving platforms. This is where it completely falls down for me. So, up. Oh, nope, there it fell down for me, too. <laughs> Get it? Um, okay. Let's see. And I'm going to miss that. And let's try this again. Good lord. <laughs> All right. Nathan Drake has nothing on Barbie. Like, Barbie is the, is the OG adventurer, apparently. Okay. Now let's see if we can make our way to this moving platform without... Oh, we'd be dying there. Couldn't do it. Let's try it again. Nope. Let's... Oh, look at that! So why did it go ahead and let me continue last time, but now it moved me back? Ah! Your life force is running out. Yeah, it pretty much is running out. Here we go. Yeah, um, it's fun to see the Windows XP experience here. Yes. Yeah, we are not using ME. I mean, I'm... I'm all for trying out difficult games, but you know, I'm not that much of a glutton for punishment. So. All right, there we go. And we'll roll under there. I wasn't sure if that was a pit or not. Let's jump on this. Woo! Killing the Barbie adventure game. Let's see. Oh, I think I need to get some hearts here because if I don't, poor Barbie may be out of luck. I got crushed by some elephants. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> you playing this? All I want to do is scream, Pepsi Man! But I won't. Well, I just did! See, I'm constantly contradicting myself. This is my problem. This is my problem. Yeah, John, you know, it, you'd think it would be fun to see the Windows XP experience here, but uh, it wasn't so much fun. Ah, setting it up. Um, Okay, oh, let's see. There's uh, Stilt Barbie making her way up there. Let's see, one, and then that's a gap there, and then that's there. Oh, we got another heart, and we'll roll. All right, we're gonna make it to the end of this level here. Right, these Barbie adventures. This pit is too long to jump. It sure is too long. Okay, how am I supposed to do that? Oh, okay. She just said it was too long to jump, but I just jumped over it. Okay, now I don't know how to grab the monkey bars above me here. I don't know what the damn controls are for this. So, oh my goodness gracious, we may be... Oh, see, look at that. It was too long for me to jump over, but apparently, after, you know, just dying a few times, Barbie's able to go ahead and do it. That looks like, yeah, a pit. Of course it does. Oh my gosh. Okay. Uh, uh, uh. All right, let's see. Uh, ah! Damn it. Okay. <laughs> so, <laughs> I mean, I appreciate, uh, I appreciate, you know, developers making games that really appeal to younger audiences and stuff, but the difficulty level on this thing is just, I, I mean, I can't remember. It's been so long ago whether or not. Uh, okay, watch out for that chip. Yeah, thanks for telling me. Let me uh, roll into the pit instead. Oh my gosh. Ah! So ridiculous. Okay, here we go. All right, jump. Okay, let's see. All right. Oh, the pit's too long to jump. That's what you said before, Barbie. Game over. Womp, 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 womp. So yeah, that is Barbie Explorer. Um, yeah, go. Yes, let's see if the game teams at Mattel joins us. That would be awesome. That would be awesome. Yes, definitely. Uh, that would be great. Now they had something here called VR training. So I mean, imagine you know back in 
the era that this game was released. Welcome to the virtual reality training What world. VR was, here we go. Here we go, the VR training. So this is where we're gonna learn how to control. Press and hold down the shift key and the arrow key oh, okay. at the same time. So While walk. you're walking, you can't accidentally fall down a pit or a hole. Oh, but see, that would've been run, good to know. You might not be able to stop in time. That would have been good to know, right? Okay. To get past this object, you need to duck under it. You need to duck under it. Press the alt key as you run. I believe that this game, what year was this? I believe this game was probably 99, 2000 maybe, 2001. All right, come on. See, look, she's not gonna... Okay, there we go. All right, all right, Miss Barbie. Here we go. Very good. Okay, now let's see oh look at that so just walking in allows me to climb okay really cool really cool okay here we go an object is blocking the path which can be moved by pulling it to do this move up close to the object then press and hold the shift key oh all now right press and hold the arrow key in the opposite direction from where you're facing okay we got it object has... we got it we got it all right let's see Oh, no, 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 I'm, I'm pulling that. No, I want to go ahead and pull. There we go. Oh, look at that. Yeah, so it does have that kind of Tomb Raider type mechanics, right? Um, pretty, 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 pretty This cool. object is blocking the path. Okay, so now I got to push this object, probably, right? Let's see. There we go. Look at that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, so not, not too bad. I, part of it is, you know, not knowing what all the this controls were. Um, what did it say? This does what? What does this mean? This, this ledge is too high to jump up normally. Yeah, you Walk said that. Walk up to the ledge and press the space bar while holding down the up arrow key. Okay, so, sp now so, all right, so just walk up there, space bar. There we go. All right, now let's figure out how these monkey bars work. This bit is too long to jump. Okay. There are some monkey bars overhead. Yes, there are. Across the pit, stand under the monkey bars and press the space bar to jump straight up and grab hold oh of the there we go that's what i should have done all right so walk under there jump up and now she is on the monkey bar so yeah so again you know this one is uh, a pretty competent jungle adventure game with unfortunately you know some of the animation and some of the collision detection makes it a bit problematic the fact that you also can't control the camera makes it a little problematic as well but not a bad game all in all right for for its error for the content for the setting so good job Mate. good job Mate. that's uh, pretty good pretty all right all right let's go ahead and see if i can back out of this I'm going to quit my VR training. We're going to get out of this game. We're going to go into another Barbie game. So let's go ahead and quit this level. And that Welcome was Barbie Explorer. Barbie Explorer. So not too bad. Here. Not too bad of a game. All right. All right. Here we go. I do want to quit that game. Let's get the heck out of there. Published by Vivendi Universal. And while you are enjoying the credit roll and some conversation here yes yeah, strong resident evil control vibes yep i completely agree you know it's what's really good though you I mean you think about it right it's just standard set of mechanics that we use for for gameplay and it's used across a wide variety of uh of, of platforms of content of, of different ages all that great stuff right so yeah see if you recognize any of the names there uh from you know years past Okay, so let me go ahead and choose our next game. The next game is going to be um, Horse Adventures. So Barbie Horse Adventures. Let me go ahead and load up that ISO. And uh, hooray! All right, we got through our first Barbie game. Let's go ahead and get through our next one. Here we go. Don't you love that background too? Ah, oh, so good. And I will tell you in preparing for this too, hearing all of the Windows XP, uh, you know, shutdown chimes, spin up chimes, all that stuff. Oh my God, it was hysterical. Hysterical. I did try to go ahead and get this working on Windows 95, then Windows 98 SC, and, and then Windows 7 as well. And I was like, you know what? XP, that was the one like in that era 
um, where these games, you know, really the late 90s, early to mid 2000s, Windows XP was the operating system, right? It was the best operating system for, to use for that. Really the most compatible, built on all the stuff they were trying to do in 95, 98, going forward, certainly much better than Emmy, certainly better than Vista. Um, so yeah, you know, all in all, it's it's hasn't been too too painful getting some of this to work. All right, on to our horse adventures. Now you'll also notice that it doesn't matter how uh, how you you know how old you are, how long you've been in the games industry. You know, there's some things that you never grow out of, like you know, naming your characters fart or burp, as you'll see in this case. Also notice it said renderware on the screen there. So if you're thinking about the type of games that use renderware, it was also used for Barbie's Horse Adventures at Whispering Springs for the horse competition. We got some jazzy jazz music going. I know FK Zilla and uh, John Goodell. Sam, maybe you too. You're all bouncing along to some of this awesome Barbie track. Mm -mm. I could rip this in MP3 if you want. Look at that. How's that for a throwback? I mean, it is in those eras, right? Okay. Well, let's see what's happening on our horse adventures. Bebopping for sure. <laughs> yes. Welcome to Barbie Horse Adventures Mystery Ride. So we should probably start with a new character. I don't know where Burp left off playing. So we're going to go ahead and let's, let, let's do another one. Let's do another one. Uh, let's call ourselves Gorf. How about that? Gorf Let's ride. is now going to be part of the Horse Adventures Mystery Ride. Let's figure, hey, let's see what's going to happen. Are you ready for the big horse show? You've been practicing all week. Yeah. Hi, yeah. Barbie. You won't believe what happened. I went to get Lucky from the stables, and her stall was empty. I asked around, but nobody's seen her. She was her. empty, and, and all of my 12 polygons couldn't find her. Oh, Barbie. I think somebody may have taken her. Are you sure, Teresa? Why would anyone want to steal Lucky? Hmm. That is a good question. Competition is pretty tough this year, Barbie. Lucky's such a great horse. They probably figure it'll be easier to win with her. Lucky out of the is way such for a, a great horse. The horse show is only a few hours away. We don't have much time. But I bet it was Snively Whiplash don't worry, who, who took Lucky I'm to the win the race. Then go and use Lucky in the wacky races. And those are for Thanks, a couple of my really friends that are in the chat that know exactly who Snively Whiplash and the wacky Before racers go, are. Barbie? Not many people uh, do nowadays, but you know. There we go. A little air horn for the Barbie mystery ride. When flashes, it means there's an item inside that can help you on your adventure. Okay. There's an item inside that can help us on our adventure inside of those bags. All right, here we go. All right. Um, so... I think, yeah. Hey, Barbie, it's... why don't you head to the stables and pick a horse? All right, let's go do that. Let's head over to those stables and pick the horse. So, again, you know, the engine runs pretty well. I mean, remember, this is running inside of a VM. Um, In the stables, no, my you can pick a horse here, and, and give her a name. You, can even you know, graphically, feet. again, really competent. Another good, and its main, competent tail, world environment for the, the Barbie universe, right? Keep clicking to see all the choices. Okay, so let's see pick what choices. Cut. Let's have a, a vote here. We've got beauty, princess, princess ruby, ruby, starlight, starlight. Sparkle. I don't believe Storm, you can change toffee, the name whisper. of the horse. Um, can you? You can change the color of your horse and its mane, tail, or saddle by clicking on the part you want to change. Keep oh, clicking to I see. see all the bell. Yep. Yeah, we can't. <laughs> we can't name the horse Chris. Buttercup. Uh, but I think Princess, let's go ahead. Starlight. Let's let's get, let's use Starlight. How about that? Yeah, and yeah, but when maybe we could also try naming the horse Rats. Oh no, Rats! Yes, Starlight. Yes, <laughs> Starlight's wonderful. Okay, and then we can I think go ahead. Oh, and brush your horse. Hey, this happened way before. Uh, what should we call it? What was the heck of that uh, pet game on the the 3DS? Uh, Nintendo, what was it? What is it? Uh, why the heck am I blanking on it? You, somebody knows the name. What am I talking about there? You know what I'm talking about. But yeah, there we go. Nintendogs. Yes, thanks, Captain Andy Pants. Hey, another one of our 
friends in there. Hey, welcome, welcome, Captain Andy Pants. It is Nintendo again. Thank you for the first time chat, buddy. Woo! We're going to be talking about this in our Death by Consensus uh, game. So, which many of you, well, most of you that may be watching this or watch this in the future don't know what that is yet, but you know, we have some plans. We have some plans. All right, we're done brushing Starlight. Um, oh, let's give her a carrot. Uh, did she take it? Uh, let's see, how about a sugar cube? There we go. Starlight wanted a sugar cube. Isn't that just lovely? All right. Um, and so I think we're good with Starlight. Let's go ahead and get out here and ride. So there we go. So now Barbie needs to ride around here and figure out the horse mystery, I guess, whatever that means. Let's go ahead and run up here. Oh. Hmm. It looks like happens. Lucky went this way. How can she tell? Because there are horseshoe tracks. I don't know Use why the they would only be Lucky's, but the apparently. Or the horse. If okay. you want to change your outfit, you can head to the ranch house dressing room. All right, there we go. Another cutscene because I walked 20 feet off the ranch, and now we are walking down our trail Look, here. a bonus bag. We can use the surprise inside to help decorate the Should this area. be a uh, Red Dead 2 bag, mini game? Just walk over it. You know, the you Barbie Adventure the Trails? At any time to open Perhaps. your bonus bags by clicking on the arrow button. Totally different horse game vibe. Right? Okay, let's see. Uh, how do I hop? Good girl, Starlight. Oh, she just hops on her own. Great. I didn't need to do anything there. Fantastic. And remember, this is using renderware for this game. Right, which uh, was used for a whole bunch. Yeah, the clip popping sounds. Yeah, excellent, excellent uh, Look, folio work bag. here. We can use the Foley work inside here, to help decorate the winners area. All right, yeah, let's go ahead and get those to decorate the winners area. Oh, let's see. Oh, that was just to loop back around there. Okay, here we go. Now it was funny, you know. I was telling my my daughters that I was doing this episode with Barbie games, and they were, you know, both text me going. Oh my God, how can I play these again? So when they come back to the house, you know, they'll have to sit down and play through some of their childhood. And that's what so much of kind of retro games and this show is about, right? It's not just about how necessarily good the, the games were. It's about how they made you feel and the era in which you played them and the era in which you first discovered them or your family discovered them, right? So as a dad, there are certain games that I, that I love to play growing up as a gamer, but then to watch my kids play through some of these games and you get some of those fond memories of watching them play or asking for your help when they were little, right? It's, uh, that's what it's about, you know? And uh, so much like the promise of Barbie is much bigger than just the plastic she's made of, so too are these games. How about that for a little philosophy here? Rewind philosophy at the end of the week. All right. Uh, let's figure out where the heck we're supposed to go. Apparently, we're going back down here. All right. Because we have a choice to make. Go back to the stable or go uh, down here to the forest. I think we're going to hmm. go this way. Looks like we need to do some more exploring before we can enter here. Apparently, we need to do some more exploring. So this was Barbie Horse Adventure. This so a little familiar. Maybe oh. we should turn around. Well, that's because we went, we just went there. Now, here's the other problem. There's no mini map on this thing, right? And I am terrible with directions. So I have no, even following those signs, I assume that's going to take hmm, us back to the ranch before. if we go ahead. Maybe we should head down a new trail. Yeah, see, look, she's even chastising me for going back in the other direction. Hmm, maybe we should head down a new trail. Well, maybe, Barbie. But let's see. All right. Uh,. <laughs> This seems a little familiar. Yes, we Maybe know it seems familiar. Barbie? Okay. It's kind of like uh, in last week's episode, we were playing uh, Jaguar games, and it's kind of like the uh, the AI in Cybermorph that would tell ask you, where did you learn how to fly? Where did you learn to fly? Where did you learn to fly? Blah, 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 all the time. We're telling you, oops, watch the ground. I'm like, yes, I, I would like to. I didn't mean to crater my ship and... All right, let's see. I didn't realize that Barbie's going to be griefing me. So it's my apologies to those watching. All right, we're going to go down here. All right, and so I think uh, this one is adventure that's going to probably take a little bit of time to play through. So in the interest of time, I may go ahead and stop this in just a minute and move on to the next one. 
Let's see what's inside of our saddlebag here. Uh, there's nothing. Apparently, we have to find these four things, right? That. Oh, wait. There's a sl Is that a slingshot? Oh, that is a slingshot. Ooh. Go ahead and get to something later, I guess. Let's see. Barbie. Wilderness Barbie on the frontier. Hunting wabbits. All right. Let's see. And there's no button to make the, the horse jump or anything. You can make lucky jump. Dead end. All right, so I have exhausted uh, my pathfinding skills without a minimap on this Barbie. But again, you can see where, th where this goes. An adventure set up in the Barbie universe around this particular type of theme. And you get to choose the horse you want to be on, accessorize the horse. You get to go ahead and, and change outfits and choose how you want to be represented in the world. And then it's also accompanied by this pretty cool 3D adventure. So there we go. That is Barbie's horse riding adventure um let's go ahead and go back to the sign-in screen and then let's exit out here sure both burp and gorf uh did not do very well let's see if it gives us a, a date the credits here or people that we know right friends of ours that have played this and while you are looking at those credits um let me go ahead and pop up the next one now you know i was gonna go through and um and look at barbie games on the the ds and nintendo and all that else but there's just too many of them and switching between different emulators and and scenes it's just gonna be too much for this and i think we're gonna be able to run out our uh barbie work here all right let's go into barbie fashion design go ahead and get to uh um, craft some fashions for Barbie and make some suggestions for me if you're as we're, we're going through. All right. Um, do we see anybody that we know in here? Um, <laughs> special thanks to Amy Patton, Jim Baltus here, Lucy Chapman, Annalisa Agustin, Lou Esposito, and Ben Spade. And you know, just being able to read those things in real time is an absolute skill just like uh, the windbag, right? On Friday night working. So if you haven't checked that out, check it out over at the Giant Bomb channel. Really fantastic. <coughs> it, by fantastic, I mean just insane. Okay, so here we go. Uh, are you sure you want we to We are sure we want to quit right now. And now what we want to go to is Barbie Fashion Designer. So we'll exit this. But actually, before we jump into Barbie Fashion Designer, it also came with this one called desktop horse so here the barbie riding club um has this desktop horse that would just live on your desktop and would just kind of be there as a, a virtual pet walking around you know walking over that landscape and all of your icons and uh yeah i don't even sure what all of these buttons so let me see oh yeah i can give the horse a sugar cube let's see will that work Nope, it's not going to let me do that. Oh, I can I put it? Oh, it did. It did. It just took, you know, 48 seconds for that to happen. Um, How about the saddle? Can we? Oh, no, I don't want a sugar cube again. I want the saddle. Can we put the saddle on, on it or the bridle? No. Nope, we can't do any of that. So here's what we're going to do. We are going to close that. And let's get into some Barbie fashion design. Now, I think it is in this game that uh, did something that i didn't expect here we go digital domain hi some of the games i'm barbie done. let's make some fun clothes for me to wear click anywhere on the screen to begin making clothes for me is really easy and fun <laughs> let me show you around first we'll choose a theme to design an outfit for we can create something for all kinds of events from fancy day dresses to cool vacation clothes. Let's pick Dream Day. Dream Day? We can pick out something to wear in the clothes. All right, let's pick out something to wear in the, the theme workshop. Okay, Click here we go. Dream Date. Dream Date. This is the clothing workshop. Click on any of the flashing clothing buttons. Great. Let's find, let's see, a top Barbie and a jacket. There we go. 
And now we'll find some accessories. Click on any of them. Terrific. Perhaps a uh, handbag. Oh, and see, so, and then you go in and change the type of accessories you have there. Maybe a belt. That would be nice. I have a belt there. Um, oh, and that may be a little too much. It's, it is the... Uh, let's see. So let's come up with some questionable sounding Barbie game names. <laughs> okay. Yes. <laughs> we can do that. Let's put some shoes on her here. Okay. And then we could go in and change the, the patterns, workshop. which is really cool, right? So, um, so let's go ahead and choose. For my new outfit. Let's choose this. That looks great. All right. Now let's... click anywhere on my new outfit. And it will fill with the fabric design you picked. Barbie's Dollhouse of Doom. I approve of that. That's a good one. Let's see. Oh, Beautiful. See, look, we were able you to go ahead and do the that. Design. And then we'll go ahead and completely mismatch Barbie by putting that up top there. And oh, let's see. Can we change it? And we'll put a heart on there. So she's all over the place. She has no sense of fashion style, apparently. When I'm at the helm. This is the color workshop. Let's pick some of your... And let's you go pick a color work. like green. You can change colors. And we'll go ahead and make her pants yellow. Or the bows yellow. Oh, look at that. You can click inside of the design. Very good. But let's go and choose the base of the pants. Oh, look at that. That's pretty cool. If you'd like to change the color of... And then the let's go change markers. her shoes to red. Please finish my outfit before oh, I, I need pose to in the dressing her. room. Okay, what? Don't forget my shoes. I got your shoes on there. Please finish my outfit before I, I did. pose in the dressing room. Don't forget my shoes. This is the clothing workshop. Oh, maybe. Ah, oh, that's why. Next, needed a top. So arrows. you are required to, to go ahead and have all of those like. pieces on it. Now let's see what happens. When you're ready to leave the dressing room. Now, this is what's really cool about this. So you've got... Um, all these different options you can choose from. And this is the part that surprised me the most is, here we go. Now she walks out for a fashion show. But the, for the game show. is actually rendering the character, right? Because ready. it can't do every single permutation or have a model of each Look one on of those button, three, um, on the disc. So it's actually three. rendering that first. And then there's your character. Hooray, yes, <laughs> Barbie walking out on the runway in the fashion you that your outfit. child designed. Click on the repeat button. So, and you know, again, it when seems like it, very surface show, level or isn't going to be very deep button. when you think about the amount of customization, the amount of time that you spend in designing those things for your Barbie and then seeing it, you know, Barbie walk out onto the runway there was really cool back in that, in that era, right during to that watch time. To watch me model my new outfit again. Click. Let's see her watch it. Let's watch her model it once again. There she is. Good catwalk strut. Fantastic job, Barbie. To watch me Terrible designer, but a fantastic a job for, for Barbie. All right, and that is basically Barbie fashion designer. Let's see, what's in here? Uh, what is the that this hanger? This is the do? closet where I keep oh. all my clothes. Right, so you can go to through and keep track of all the outfits clothes, that you made. Click on a hanger or click on the flashing arrow button. Let's see, you can we have nothing, You're nothing. You're at the end of cool careers. Careers? Totally let's see. trendy. Mix and match. Vacation oh yeah, let's go fun. back, let's, let's go back and do that. Let's go back and see what other ones that were outside. Let's go and do one more design. This is the and theme Dick, workshop. you all tell me click what we should any put one of the flashing buttons. Are we doing that, what kind that of cool, we'll that stylish and cool one up top here? Totally trendy. Totally trendy? Dream date. Dream date. Party surprise. Party surprise. Cool careers. Cool careers. Vacation fun. Vacation fun. Wedding Or oh, marriage. Which one should we do? I think the trendy one, right? What do you say? Trendy? Trendy? Yes. Thumbs up. What do you say, kids? Totally okay, trendy. yay. We're going to start doing that one. Here we go. This All is right. the clothing workshop. Cool. Change my outfit. So let's go ahead and change Barbie's outfits here. Let's see. What do we have for tops? Oh, there's cheerleader Barbie. There's uh, football Barbie. Let's go ahead and take, uh, let's see, how about that jacket? There we go. And then let's go ahead and see what pants. Oh, there's some overalls. 
Oh, there we go. There's some shorts. How about uh, some shoes? This is the exception. Let's get some shoes for it. You here. can add it. There we go. Sporto Barbie want. with her Sporto oh, shoes. Click on the flashing fabric square. And let's this see what we got design. here. Um, and I like how they have different music themes for the different styles. Okay, so this. That looks great. There we go. Beautiful. No, no, let's do some flowers and uh, yeah, leave everything else alone. And then let's add this some is the color. color. How about add some color to it? Let's pick some of your favorite colors. You can choose more. Blue. Okay, but you know it's you Barbie, can. right? So the Barbie B gotta be pink. And let's go ahead and choose a nice, but AWS orange. How about that? Barbie shorts there, and then of course those look like sunflowers, so we'll go grab if you'd like some of those sunflowers. The Sorry. You there we go. Is it gonna let me do the petals too? No. Sorry. Oh, it did. Oh, but you have to be able to really look at it. But remember, you know, you had a much bigger screen um, that it was blown up <laughs> on back then. I'm looking at it in a tiny little window here to. Uh, See, all right, let's see. All when right. you're ready to leave the dressing room, there she is. Click anywhere on the screen. And now let's go ahead and go to the fashion show. I'm getting dressed for the fashion show. It's going to take a few minutes for me to get ready. If you don't want to wait for the fashion show, click on the exit button to return to the screen you are on. <laughs> And again, going back and um, and going through these games, that was this part was the part that really impressed me the most. The fact that it was going ahead and rendering and putting the the clothes that you chose, the color combination that you did onto a model, and then rendering that and getting it ready to. Uh, and in fact, obviously, what it's doing is it's rendering a video to out, watch right? Me model my so new it, because it's obviously not a 3D. Uh, it's not a 3D, you when know, ready you know set of mesh that's walking show, around there or, th or a 3D the object. Button. It's having to not only um, go ahead and place all those assets in, but then render the video up pretty quickly. And it does it pretty quickly, right? And again, for that time, pretty, pretty cool. All right, so that was Barbie Fashion Designer. Let's see if we can get this one to work. Now, this is Barbie Detective. Um, the problem that I'm having with Barbie Detective is uh, the disc is all scratched up and actually let's see if we have secret agent Barbie here. Oh, no, it's asking for the CD-ROM. So let me see. Let's see if uh, we can get this one to work. All right, so let me change the settings on that here. Yeah, any more other Barbie, Barbie's Dollhouse of Doom? Anybody have any other, uh, you know, any other names of of uh, for Barbie or you know that that content there? That would be great. Let's see what is in my uh, drive. Oh no, we don't want to play Barbie Writing Club. We want to go and see if this detective game is going to work. So let's go ahead and give shot. It may crash. This one may crash because the disc is really, really kind of screwed up on it. So um, we'll see. But we'll see. But we'll see. But we'll see. All right. So. Um, is this going to turn on? Oh, Adventure Detective Barbie. Oh, hey, look at that. Oh, this is one that I hadn't installed. All right, you're gonna go through the Windows XP install uh, program with me. Here we go. We're gonna install this live right here on <laughs> Rewind. I thought I already had this one in there, but apparently I did not. Um, that's because, where is it? Fashion designer, magic hair, styler, horse adventures. And then we also have the Barbie Sleeping Beauty game. And that's the one we're looking at today. Um, ooh, this one's gonna take a little while. To, oh no, look how fast that goes. Man, that Windows XP is one um, efficient operating system. I will say that for sure. Of course, now it's, it's stuck there. Um, lots of space. But again, you know, really going back through this and, and trying to make these games work on a modern machine was really an exercise in patience and fun, right? Getting to done the sense of accomplishment when you actually got it to work. So 
All righty, let us see here. Uh, no, I don't want to receive more information about our privacy. Um, and we're going to, let's see, uh, we do want to exit them. Yes, we just want to get into Barbie Detective right here. Let us finish this. Fortunately, it doesn't, I don't believe it's going to ask me. Oh, I was just about to say, it wasn't going to ask me to restart my computer. But no, I'm going to restart this later. Let's see if we can do that. How many of you actually did that too? You know, when uh, when you uh, installed something, you take the advice and splatter doll house. Oh, that is a good one. That is a good one, FZ Killer. Yes, yes, yes. Um, but have you ever restarted, you know, your computer every time you want to install the game, which you really had to do during the XP era? Maybe this is why. We're going to see if it just completely crapped out the, the VM here and so we can see until we go ahead and oh Becky and I had just graduated from the Detective Academy okay we Becky and her just graduated from the Detective Academy by the way the Detective Academy fantastic school really difficult to get into gotta have you know like a 4-4 GPA it's um the detective school okay is this one going to work or is this one going to break? I think we may have broken it. I think we may have broken it with that one. Oh, Barbie, what did you do? All right. Well, th what we're going to do now then is we're going to go ahead and restart it and we're not going to be able to walk through that one. So instead, we're going to walk through the Barbie Sleeping Beauty series. So let me go ahead and uh, let's see. Restart. Let's see. Let's restart this guest. <laughs> Yes, they, I know something is already in progress. No, 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 VM. Let's see. We're just going to... Actually, yeah, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to have to shut this off entirely. It's going to let me do that. Failed to reset the virtual machine. All right, folks. So Barbie has now hijacked... Um, she has now hijacked the virtual machine. Um, she is now making her way into the interwebs. And, uh, everybody look out. Make sure your firewall and your uh, antivirus protection is up to date because Barbie's coming. Okay, uh, let's see. Power off. Let's see. All right, I think I'm going to kill this virtual machine. So we're going to close this entirely. Oh, it's not even going to let me do that. Let's see if it's going to let me shut that down. Oh my goodness, we may be finishing up early today because the VM has now decided to go ahead and completely freeze up on these Barbie games. Um, all right, here's what we're going to do. I am going to go right into the task manager. I'm going to kill this thing at the root and see if we can't go ahead and get one more game in before we are done all right so that should have done that very good yeah why isn't our tv static up and running there we go boo don't worry sam we have one more barbie game that we're going to go through here we're going to fire back up that workstation and uh you should be able to hear there are no open virtual machines so let's go ahead and open a virtual machine how about that and our virtual machine is going to be right here and there we go let's see let's see how fast this goes are we going to be able to open the virtual machine best rise I've ever known have been women yeah come on barbie <laughs> let's go crashy <laughs> um let me see um actually john you are right you are right I I concur, my man. Um, oh my goodness, it completely cratered this. All right, let me get back to our TV static. Let me go ahead and open this again and see what it is doing. Um, power on this virtual machine. We are trying to power this virtual machine. Wow, okay, that was crazy because it basically went ahead and cratered 
our Barbie game. So let me go ahead, since we have a few minutes, I'm going to go ahead and see if I can't get one more Barbie game up and running for uh, for a console. How about that, right? So let's go ahead and um, let's do that. All right. Wow, I can't believe that it cratered. Cratered that VM. That was... That was just silly. That, that, that was really, really silly. Okay, let us go ahead and find ourselves a good Barbie game to go ahead. Well, a Barbie game. I'm the, the quality of which I will leave up to you, but we'll go ahead and try a Barbie game and uh, see what we've got here. All right, let's go ahead and try. Uh, what are we gonna try out here? Let us try out. Um, ba -ba 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 -ba. let's see, that's Super Pack, Barbie Vacation Adventure. Let's try the Barbie Adventure Royal Jewels Mission. Let's, let, let's go ahead and try that. So, oh, oh, got a little music going there. And that may also be a little loud, but... Um, let me go ahead and switch over to our window here. And what you'll see is this was EA Dice, right? So if you are familiar with Dice, anybody know what games Dice makes? Perhaps the Battlefield 1942 series of games? Yes, you would be correct if that is what you, uh, if that is what you guessed. Let me go ahead and resize our window here since this temple was not set up for this game. That is a loud one. A loud, loud one. Um, let me see if I can adjust Let me adjust that volume down a little bit here. So I'm not blowing out ears in this. Okay. Uh, is that better? Can you hear that? Can you can you hear can you hear my voice and hear the Barbie game? I think so. I think I think if the music's too loud, you're too old. That's true. All right, let's go ahead and jump into the EA Dice. Game. Here we go, and we are going to choose a new game. Someone is stealing the Queen's what? The Queen's jewels. <gasps> That's right. Laugh. Laugh it up. Laugh it up. Who could this be? I wonder. Barbie, the Queen's jewels have been taken from London Tower. Camille, the evil mastermind, is our main suspect. Come back to HQ to start your mission. All right. So let's go back to England to the tower roof to start our mission. Barbie, your mission starts on the roof of London Tower. Get to the other side without being seen by the guards. Remember to use your gadgets to help you. Yep, yep, yep. Midge stole the jewels. That's right. Laugh it up, Fuzzball. Yes, John, what is that, sir? What is, what is that? Uh, all right, remember to use your gadgets to help you. Hi, Barbie, you must find all the secret files that Camille has taken. Collecting them all will open special surprises in the secret vault back at HQ. Maybe we should do a table read of one of these games and, and get people to join us. That should be a lot of fun. All right. Oh, here we go. Yeah, a good, you know, side scroller. Little platformer there. It's got good frame rate to it. Let's see. Um, how do I... What is that? Oh, maybe I have to jump from up here. There we go. Ah, there we go. Look at that. And now, let's see. Can I... Oh, and you can roll in. Okay, that's good. And then you have those... I don't know what those different things up top do, but uh, let's go ahead and roll through and get that CD that we needed. All right. So there we go. You know, this could be uh, a, little bit, a little bit of... Oh! Apparently, I threw some nonsense at that guard there. And now can climb up this ladder here, right? Another one. Oh, bomb him with perfume, apparently. Okay, let 
me duck here, and we went ahead and grabbed another CD. I know that I missed one up top. I'm not going to go back and try to do it. <laughs> yeah, are these AOL CDs? They may as well be from this era, that's for sure. Oh! The sound of the alarm, that dumb guard. Oh! Dang. Not, not a Barbie game criticism, but you know, one of the things that I don't like is when we have the screens that snap back and forth. You know, so it, rather than it scrolling and kind of moving you in there, um, you watch the screen snap to where you are on the screen. That one's, that's always a little bit tricky, uh, tricky to navigate. And you did it. Your pass was broop. And so we're going to press start to continue there. Barbie, you need to sneak by the guards and track down Camille and keep a lookout for the Foot Clan. No, the secret files. That's right. Okay. So let's see. Oh, I need to go here and... Oh, look at that little mini games in there all right let's see okay little flappy bird type action and yeah all right all right not too bad i mean i can see this holding interest and uh being a fun game to go ahead and get through oh that must be invisibility ah okay and oh no that's terrible um, let me try. Oh, no. Guards! Guards! Ah! Okay. Oh, I have no more invisibility potion, do I? Let me get out of here. Ooh. And we need to get that. Yep. They're just honking at you. Brap, brap. And here we go. Yeah, so, you know, again, it's... For, for its era... Oh, nope. I didn't get the key. So, I'm out of time playing this game, but at least we got one, you know, console style or handheld game in here. Let's see, what is this? What is this? Okay, that's the diamond ring. The co ah, the, it's a compact. That's what, that is what is. And the diamond ring is the invisibility. Can I climb over that? No, I can't climb over that. Oh, you would have to go up to the top. I see. I see. What's interesting, though, about this, right, it's a good... It's a competent side-scrolling action game without, you know, the violence that may be in some other action-y oriented type of game. So they stay true to kind of the Barbie world. They stay true to the kind of the relationship that parents have with the Barbie brand, right? Um, she's overcoming the, these obstacles in a dangerous space, but doing so in her Barbie way. And I think that's pretty cool. I think that is pretty all right. So look, that about wraps it up for this week's rewind. Um, this was fun going back and going back and playing through these old games that my kids, you know, kind of grew up playing. Getting to re-experience some of those games that I just watched them playing, and they would come to me, you know, as their dad, and say, you know, can you help us get through these different areas? And it's, again, it's just a lovely nostalgic look back on an iconic brand that serves right as an, a, a, a representation of empowerment, uh, of, of possibility, of adventure, of growth for those that love Barbie and the Barbie universe. So super fun to go ahead and play through these games with you. Thank you so much for spending time with me here today. And with that, that brings us again to the end of this episode of Rewind. Remember, we come to you every Friday afternoon at 3 p.m. Eastern, and we look back at games industry's past as we build games industry's future. And if you are a game developer of any size, from AAA to indies, and need help on your cloud game development journey, make sure you check out aws.amazon.com forward slash game tech to discover all the technology, services, and offerings that we have to help you on that cloud game journey. And as always, a special thanks to Waterflame for the use of his music here on Rewind. Make sure you check out the incredible music catalog of Waterflame on his YouTube channel at Waterflame Music. And finally, of course, the Video Game History Foundation. If you care as much about the preservation of video game history as I do, make sure you head on over to GameHistory.org to check out the incredible work that this organization is doing to preserve games industry's past for our future. I happen to be a founding board member of this 501c3 organization. And once again, they're doing incredible work to 
make sure they capture correctly the history of video games for future generations. And that's it for this episode of Rewind. I hope you all have a wonderful rest of your day, an incredible weekend, and we will see you next week on Rewind. <laughs>